Well, the World Cup is all the rage around town. With all the hype on the action on the pitch, there's one element of the game that's being forgotten, injuries. Live to Amanda Ferguson now with how concussions are more common than we think. Amanda. Roger, some of the wildest goals in soccer scored using the head, but not everyone knows the proper technique. And with kids these days trying to be just like their favorite soccer stars, it's important that parents know the risks. I uh, represented my country 29 times. So it's fair to say you've taken quite a few headers. I've taken a lot of headers. He's played at the pro level, but Robert Yerushi doesn't think twice about all those headers he's made over the years. Back in the 60s and 70s was actually a leather ball with stitches. So, and when that ball got heavy in the rain, uh, then you had to be really careful that you properly headed a ball. Otherwise, it could do damage. Serious brain damage, in fact. Yeah! A recent study out of St. Michael's Hospital shows heading could have long-term effects on the brain. They were displaying significant impairments in things like memory, concentration, attention, and just general thinking abilities. The study showed concussions account for almost 9% of injuries in soccer, most of those from player-to-player -player contact and unexpectedly getting hit with the ball. Hockey may hog the limelight when it comes to concussions, but soccer? is the fastest growing sport in the world with more kids playing it than ever before. I wouldn't want her playing hockey. <laughs> Chris Temeriski's daughter Chanel isn't afraid to use her head in soccer. In fact, this messy in the making has even scored with a header. As long as you use your forehead, it doesn't hurt. Yerushi says it's important players learn how to head a ball properly at a young age. <laughs> before they start emulating their footy heroes on the local soccer pitch. When you head a ball, first of all, you know, you're, you're, uh, you should have your eyes open. You never, you never close your eyes when you head a ball, and uh, you never hit the ball in the top of the head. The ball should always be struck uh, with the forehead. Many kids across Toronto learn how to properly head a ball by the age of seven. Just throw it at me. Just throw it at you? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you gotta throw it at me higher. I get my first lesson at the age of, well, much older than seven. That's the right way you should do yeah. it. Yeah, okay. go again. Researchers rather say the best way to reduce the risk is to either just have kids wear protective headgear or just have them use their feet instead of their head. Live from Cherry Beach Soccer Pitch, I'm Amanda Ferguson.